entire world. Becoming the wind, the stars, the universe. Being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks, trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. 
Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Aiden. <laughs> For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Aiden is not the only one I miss. Now that Ryan's gone, I realize how much I loved him. I understand how Nathan must have felt. Nothing is worse than knowing you'll never hold someone in your arms again. It took months, months of nothing passing by. Then I woke up. I knew it was time, time to start again, to build a new life. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I always knew I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. They took me in when I was alone, when all I could think of was dying. They shared the little they had without knowing me or, or judging me. Deep down, I knew that my place was there with them. Stan does odd jobs here and there. Hey, here, Tuesday looks after little Zoe. They're not rolling in money, but they manage. I never told them about my past, and they never asked. They love me for who I am. Just some weird chick who talks to spirits. <laughs> Zoe took to me like we'd always known each other. There's something about her big, sad eyes that reminds me of the little girl I once was. I knew she was different from the moment I saw her. We haven't talked about it, but... We both know we have something in common. see things at night. Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. The only one who can save the world is a little girl. I have to prepare her. I know I don't have much time. Pandora's box is open. They never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen.